So one of my subscribers emailed me a link to this clip and after checking it out and reading the comments, I wanted to go ahead and give my own personal Christian perspective on the situation and what I believe and who I actually believe was right or wrong in the situation. Uh, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is play the clip and then give my input after. The point I was making was, is that I can relate to you. I was trying to connect with you. Bella thinks I'm overreacting when I say I'm nervous to meet his ex, but I am literally shaken. I am nervous to meet his ex-wife. Bella tends to lecture me a lot. This is something he did on the phone. But since I've been here, I thought he would have been more relaxed. But he seems to be like always lecturing me. I'm not looking for you to be my dad. I'm looking for you to be my supportive fiance and speak to me like your fiance. This is my feelings. I want you to respect it and say, okay, I understand. You, yeah. You're a bit nervous. It's your first time. Yeah. If you can recall what I just said, was it wasn't it? I literally just said that. Those are your feelings. I can't tell you how to feel. Okay. Just make just making sure. I would tell you one thing though, What's which that? you might want to do What's before that? you meet her. Mm -hmm. You just might want to get that booger out of your nose before you meet her. I don't have no booger in my nose. Yeah, you got a no, booger in your nose. It's green and brownish. Oh, whatever. Look like and maybe it, you have something stuck in your teeth. Look like you got a hair on it. No, I don't. I'm getting sick and tired of you pranking me about this in my nose. I hate this type of joke. That's an American Bang. thing. I'm a, I'm a that is not a Trinidad a thing, you. and that is not my I'm type a, of humor. I don't know where you come from, but the environment I come from, we keep our hands to ourselves. So right? I can't do this? So, so what I'm going to tell you is, stop. You going to try to get a wreck? So what I'm going to tell you is, first we of all... We are touchy, Philly type of people. Yeah, we like to touch. I, you know yeah, that. Don't, yeah, don't do that. We hit... It's disrespectful We've where I come from. Give your elbows. So keep your hands to yourself mm -hmm. and watch your tone. Because I can literally pull over right now and you'll be taking an Uber for the rest of the ride home. You're not going to do that to me. Hey. You know, when you came to my country, I treated you very well, right? Uh, I did not, did say, not, I just, did not did say. Did you not just push your hands on me? Yeah, but it's, a, it's not, not in once. a serious way. Yeah. No, I'm going to give you a serious hit. Yeah. About to get off right here. I'm not getting off yeah. right here. Shida is being aggressive. And it is making me look at her in a different light. She's doing this as a joke, but it's a joke that I don't play. Now, I already know that my response is going to anger most women, most lost women at that. But it is the truth. So, analyzing the clip, from what we just saw, the first thing that happened was he made an off-color remark about her having a booger up her nose. Now, I'm not going to say he was right or wrong in his remark, but the fact of the matter is that it was lighthearted and it wasn't that serious. She took it as offense, and the problem here lies in how she responded. She responded by expressing her frustration over, over the joke he made, which was absolutely fine. The problem was when she assaulted him by hitting him upside his head. Now, reading the comments, okay, the comments of this video, what you'll see is a bunch of women claiming that her slapping him upside the head was no big deal, that it was an assault, and that it was just her being playful. Listen, first off, it was assault. And to prove it, let's do a 180 and change seats. Let's now say that Bilal is in the other seat, and he hits her upside her head, and then forcefully begins reaching and grabbing at her face. Let me ask you a question. What would the public's response be to this? Be honest. How would the internet respond to what he did? Okay, and we know the truth is they'd be calling for his head. The internet would explode in rage and you know it. Now, what I really want to examine here is the, is the women in the comments of this video. And I want this to be a warning to young Christian women about the company you keep. Because one of the ways Satan attacks you is through the lost people in and around your life. You know what's interesting about lost women? How, quick, how quickly they will encourage their married friends to divorce their husbands over the smallest things. Now, if you read the comments of this video, what you see is nothing but comments from women encouraging this woman to leave this relationship. And I've seen this often, so often in my life, back when I was lost in dating. You want to know why women do this? Why lost women do this? I'll give you three reasons why they do this. Number one, because they are absolutely miserable, especially the women who are single and have married friends. Number two, because they secretly want you at their level, the whole misery loves company thing. 
Number three, and this being the biggest reason why women do this, why lost women do this, is because they are lost and they hate God. Let me say that again. Because they are lost and they hate God. Marriage and divorce mean absolutely nothing to a lost woman. Marriage is a status symbol and divorce is just a means by which she can obtain his resources and exit the relationship. A lost woman does not care about the glory of God, the same God that hates divorce, Malachi 2.16. And so my warning to young Christian women out there is make sure your friends are like-minded and of the faith because bad company corrupts good morals, 1 Corinthians 15.33.